Jesus bless this message in Jesus name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah, you guys. Uh, we have been all week long on YouTube doing our every three month self inventory exams. Examine your life. Make sure you're found worthy. Stand in front of Jesus Christ when he comes, right? Uh, we have all week long. You'll see it on YouTube. Exam one, two, three, four. In the barn. We have more exams in the barn just for the barners. That was yesterday and tomorrow we have more exams. <laughs> so it's all examination week. Next week, we're going into our spiritual gift inventory. Um, we do that every three months in here, three to four months. But tonight, y'all, is fellowship night. It's a Sabbath. It's a rest, man. So tonight, we are coming in, the juniors. Go to JesusDoers.com. Go to the Vacation Bible School Junior link. Come in through there at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Adults and juniors, you're welcome to the barn at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You go to JesusDoers.com and come in through the big red barn. And we are watching uh, Before the Wrath. So you have a better understanding of the return of Jesus Christ, the rapture, and uh, the upper room to set the Last Supper. All of that. And it is phenomenal, y'all. And you don't got to pay for it, okay? You come. Because you got to pay to watch that movie unless you buy it. We're paying for it, Okay. We just want you guys to come. We want to share it with you because we're supposed to give. We're supposed to share, right? We'll be sharing with you, okay? And you will be blown away. If you haven't seen it, you're going to just be blown away. So that's at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come, 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 come. Bring your friends. Bring your family. All that. Send them the link to the barn. Again, it's on JesusDoers.com. Again, the covenants and all that is on JesusDoers.com. In the studies section, click on studies and prayers. It's right in there. They're for you to help you with your walk with Jesus Christ, man. Because we're at the end of the road. You know, we're that generation. We're it, y'all. And besides that, the rapture, you don't know when you're going to die. Like our next door neighbor. One day he's riding his golf cart up and down the road looking just as fine and healthy. Now he's got stage four cancer. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ate up with it. You don't know. But the best thing you got to do is be ready. Be ready at all times to stand in front of your maker because you will. You will. And the devil's going to try to pull you to hell, give you every reason in the world why you can't come to church, every reason under the sun why you ain't got time to study the Bible. I definitely ain't got time to do no examinations of my life like the Bible tells me to. Um, you know, that's the devil going to try to do that to you. And we're here fighting on your behalf for God. You understand? So get up and fight. Get yourself together, y'all. But tonight is just fellowship. And we're also having communion tonight, you guys. So if you're coming to the barn, excuse me. If you're coming to the barn, bring your cracker and your juice. Okay? Be logged in that room by 8.30. No later than 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay? Because first thing we're going to do is a prayer, a worship. We're going to do communion. Okay? Then we're going to go ahead and watch our movie. All right, so communion tonight in the barn. Bring your cracker, bring your juice. But like the Bible says, before you take communion, examine yourself. Examine yourself. Make sure you're ready to put them sins down. Make sure you're real serious with God before you eat that cracker and drink that juice for the reasons that we're doing it for. That's what the Bible says, okay? So that's tonight. See you guys in the barn. Juniors, they'll see you at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time again. Go to JesusDoors.com. Through the Vacation Bible School link. You'll see it. And then if you want to come to the barn later, come down to the big red barn on the website and come in through that link. All right. God bless you guys. Love and care about you. Thank those of you so much that's helping us and helping with the fundraiser. Thank you guys. It's an emergency. The whole shebang's emergency. And we're kind of running out of time. Ain't much moving with that right now. But um, I, I trust the Lord that it will move. So thank you guys that are helping. Uh, God bless you. We have to have it done this month. So by the end of the month, thank you so much, guys. God loves you. We love you. We're here to help you. Thank you that are helping us back. Thank you that are here learning and growing and studying. Thank you for all that. You know, and if you know what I was talking yesterday, I was on Instagram on my Instagram page. I don't ever go there much. I'm waiting for Igor to get here for us to kind of get used to this Instagram thing. And we're going to start spreading out to all these other platforms when he gets here. 
But anyway, one of my Instagram followers was told me, they said, am I watch you on, now we're on Instagram talking, he said, I watched some of your videos on YouTube, and he said, God showed me, when I was watching your channel, a vine. He said, and everyone that's studying at your channel is connected to that vine. And it was forming into the shape of a rose, and I saw a stain of blood in the middle of it, representing Jesus Christ. He said, Kim, God has his hands on you. I said, he sure does, more than what you think, more than what you know. He literally put his physical hand on me, okay? Yes, and it goes, flows through me to you. You know, God put you here for me to shepherd over, and that I do, and that I will do. But I just can't save you. I can guide you. I can lead you to the one who can. That's my duty, and that's what I will do. Because you are just as important as anybody else to God. Satan's been making some of y'all feel like, well, I've done so much sin or I'm too bad and all this bunch of hogwash. Y'all, don't ever put God in a box like that and cut the Lord down like that. Uh, God, I don't feel like he's, he's with me anymore. I feel like God's left me and all that bunch of bull crap because of your sin, right? And that burns me up when people do that because what they're doing is they're putting God down. They don't realize it, but you are. Because God says in his word, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. You have left me. You have forsaken me. So recognize it and get yourself together, y'all. Quit trying to blame God for stuff. If God's left me, no, you left God. So get yourself together, y'all. We're here to motivate you and help you do that. All right, you don't know when you're going to stand in front of him. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> will that be a day and you want to stand in front of him unashamed, y'all. Don't mean we ain't going to have struggles here. We will, okay? Understand that. Just do all you can do to get yourself together according to what his word says, how it says to do it. That's following the Holy Spirit, following Jesus. All right, y'all. But tonight is no exams. That's tomorrow in the morning at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday. Tonight's fellowship night and communion movie night. All right. God bless. See y'all at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love and care about you. Anything you need is in the description on the video. I want to thank Max. Thank you, Max, for that wonderful book of Daniel that you got me. That uh, It's like a rabbinic version of it. Like It's really good. Thank you so much, Max, for the beautiful gifts. Thank those of you that sent stuff to the P.O. Box. Every one of you, I want to say thank you and recognize you for what you're doing. Thank you so much, y'all. All right? God sees, too. It's more importantly. All right? Love you. Care about you. God bless.